If you were wondering how we can listen to Solana's on-chain events, this is the video for you. In this video, we will learn how we can listen to Solana's on-chain events using WebSocket connections or WebSocket subscriptions. So without any ado, let's jump into it. For no purpose, what we will be doing is we will be looking for changes to a particular wallet, this wallet in this case. And once there is a change, let's say there is a transaction or there is a account balance change for that particular wallet, then what we will do is we will print the change in our terminal. So first of all, you need to have your Solana Web 3 js installed and that's what we are importing over here. And then you need a WebSocket endpoint and a HTTP endpoint from your Quicknode account. So this is a Solana DevNet endpoint. And let's replace this over here. Go back, copy the WebSocket endpoint and replace it. Then we are initializing or establishing a new connection with HTTP and WebSocket endpoints. And then we are writing a sleep function or a delay function, which will wait for 10 seconds to listen for any changes happening for that particular wallet. But if, for your use case, you can keep the timer anything. And then we are just passing this public key in a variable and in a new function subscription ID, what we are saying is, Whenever the Solana connection has an account change for this account, which we are passing over here, console.log, which means that just give us an output in the terminal with the information like the account string and how much balance of that account is updated. And after the 10 seconds of receiving the event, we will close the WebSocket connections because we always need to close the WebSocket connection or they may go stale or run forever. Now let's run the script. So what we will be doing is we will run the script. So the event listener or the WebSocket connection is listening for any changes for that particular account. And in the meantime, we will send some salt to that account so that the event listener or WebSocket connection catches that change. So let's start the script or the event listener. Now let's send some salt so it catches that. All right, so as you can see, it got that uh, change and printed the new account balance for that account. And uh, now, as you can see, the WebSocket connection has also closed. So this is how you can create your own WebSocket connections on the Solana blockchain. But this was just for subscribing to account changes. But what you can do is you can listen to a whole lot of changes like block subscribe you can listen to block subscribe where you will get notification or you will get event whenever a new block is validated etc etc so hope you learned something from this video make sure to like and subscribe to the good youtube channel and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye